Welcome. This presentation demonstrates the correct method for manual filling of an EasyFlow CSV charge bag. Follow this procedure carefully for maximum efficiency and safety when using the EasyFlow CSV high containment transfer system. Due to the nature of the materials being handled, any manual filling operation would typically be performed under a downflow booth or within a dispensary whilst wearing the appropriate PPE. During the filling procedure, you will use an EasyFlow CSV charge bag with a pre-fitted passive, an Easy Grip shut-off clamp, a red tamper evident safety seal, a filling funnel either stainless steel or polypropylene, a CSV passive opening tool. Also, a number of mobile or benchtop filling stands are available to make the filling process easier. First, remove the charge bag, red tamper evident safety seal and shut-off clamp from the pouch by tearing the perforated seal. The blue protective transit sleeve can be discarded. Each charge bag has a clear ID label showing all manufacturing details including batch and lot number, part number, charge bag volume as well as production and expiry dates. The EasyFlow CSV Passive has a manual interlock which prevents the passive slider from being removed. To remove the passive slider, simply depress the passive interlock mechanism using the passive opening tool. Now you can fully withdraw the slider from the passive body. Next, place the charge bag into the filling stand with the ID label facing forwards. Fully insert the filling funnel through the passive body. The blue silicon filling band must tightly wrap around the filling funnel and should be positioned towards the end of the funnel spout. This will create a clean area and prevent product from contaminating the charge bag neck and the passive during the filling process. Product can now be carefully dispensed through the filling funnel into the charge bag. When filling is complete, carefully remove the funnel ensuring that no residual product is retained on the surface of the funnel. Next, the Easy Grip shut-off clamp needs to be used to seal off the neck of the charge bag and prevent product from contaminating the passive. Be sure to position the clamp in the clean area between the passive and the blue silicon filling band. Carefully push the two halves of the shut-off clamp together. When they are fully engaged, slide the red safety toggle marked number 4 to the centre of the clamp. The passive slider can now be reinserted into the passive body. This will re-engage the interlock. Finally, insert the red tamper evident safety seal into the holes in the clamp handle and pull tightly. This will prevent accidental release of the shut-off clamp. The filling procedure is now complete and the charge bag is ready for discharge.